So lengths here, we're going to look at centimetres, millimetres, all these kind of things, kilometres and metres. So you can see on the board, I've got a little diagram and you can see what I'm doing is converting from millimetres to centimetres and centimetres to metres, etc. So watch carefully, I'll show you how to convert from one to another very, very easily. From millimetres to centimetres, we all know that there is 10 millimetres in one centimetre. So, to go from millimetres to centimetres, we need to divide by 10. And then we know that there's 100 centimetres in one metre. So, similarly, from centimetres to metres, we need to divide by 100. And same with this one, metres to kilometres, there's 1,000 metres in one kilometre. So, divide by 1,000. Okay, so the thing is, from smaller unit to a larger unit, we always divide. That's the key thing. Okay, small to large, divide. Now let's go the other way around. From kilometers to meters, we know that again there's thousand meters in a kilometer. So same thousand, but this time we multiply. And same here, we multiply, multiply. So this is 100 and this is 10. So you can see that from a larger unit to a smaller unit, we always multiply. Okay, you must multiply. That's the key thing, just remember that thing. You don't have to always go from kilometers to just meters. You can go to kilometers to centimeters, but that means you have to multiply by a thousand and then multiply by a hundred again. Okay, that's easy stuff. So, you all know that there's a thousand meters in a kilometer, there's a thousand millimeters in one meter, because you know that in one meter, one meter is a hundred centimeters. And we know that there's 10 millimeters in a centimeter, so we just simply multiply that by 10 to get a thousand. That's all you need to do. And then we all know that 100 centimeters in a meter, as I just said. Okay, these stuff I'm pretty sure you all know, right? So trying to remember this diagram, small to large, divide. Large to small, multiply, okay?